أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حيا والصلاة حيا والصلاة حيا على الفلا حيا على الفلا إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله العظيم من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وحبيبه بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح الأمة وكشف الله به الغمة وجاهد في الله حق جهاده حتى أتاه اليقين فصلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه الأطهار وعلى سائر من اقتفى أثره واتبع هديه بإحسان إلى يوم الدين ثم أما بعد I am a witness to the undeniable truth that there is no God but Allah, one and only, without any partners or associates whatsoever. And I am a witness to the undeniable truth that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa ashabihi wa sallama is his servant and his final messenger. There's no doubt that the best of speech is the book of Allah, that the best guidance to follow is the guidance of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the worst of all affairs are innovation in religion. Every innovation is a heresy. Every heresy leads to misguidance. And every misguidance leads to the fire. Ya Ummat Muhammad, Ibad Allah. Allah Azza wa Jal said in Surah Fatir, Ya ayyuhal nasu antum al ila Allah. Wallahu huwa al-ghaniyu al-hamid In yasha' yudhibakum Wa ya'ti bi khalqin jadid Wa ma thalika ala Allahi bi'aziz Allahu Azza wa Jalla let us know O people, O mankind 
Antumul fuqara'u ila Allah. All of you are in dire need of Allah. All of you are poor, impoverished, wealthless, without material, without gain, without property, without faculties. You are in dire need of Allah Azza wa Jal at every moment of your life while you are alive and at every moment of your death after you die. And when you are resurrected, you are in need of Allah Azza wa Jal for every atom in your body and every molecule to move, to exist, to be sustained, to live. Allah Azza wa Jal let us know Wallahu huwa al-ghaniyul hamid Allah is the only one who has no need whatsoever Not only does he not have any need whatsoever in any way shape or form He's also always praiseworthy That means there is nothing that he does that can be deemed bad or unpraiseworthy or unsatisfactory there's nothing that he does except that it's always all praiseworthy he's ghani he's not in need of any thing whatsoever in any way shape or form while we are fuqara i want you to think the true faqir in allah azza wa jal similar to what our brothers and sisters in Gaza and Palestine, they exhibit they are exemplars of this faqr this faqr for the true believer is the only true richness in this world meaning the more in need of Allah Azza wa Jal you, need, you, you recognize you are the more in need of Allah Azza wa Jal that you realize you are, then the truly more wealthy you are. Because the deluded and foolish person is the one who thinks he is in not he's in no need of Allah Azza wa Jal. The second one is the one who forgets he's less than. He forgets and she forgets their need of Allah Azza wa Jal. So Allah Azza wa Jal gives us calamities to remind us that we are in need of Him. Most of us don't recognize it. Most of us don't submit to the fact that we need Him. And then some of us recognize it and find strength and find richness in the fact that we need Allah. You either, you and I, we either recognize our need of Allah and succeed or we act as if we don't need Allah and fail Allah Azza wa Jal put the people right now of Gaza in a position where no one is coming to their aid even though many are capable so that we realize as they know that Allah Azza wa Jal is the one that we can rely on and no one else. And that Allah Azza wa Jal is keeping the hisab, the account. His books are tight. Allah Azza wa Jal said, Wallahu sari'u al-hisab. When Allah takes account, it's swiftly. It's not slowly. He doesn't have the records written slow. He has them written swiftly, quickly. As Allah Azza wa Jal also told us upon the, the tongue of Musa ibn Imran, وَمَا كَانَ رَبُّكَ نَسِيَّا And your Lord never forgets. So Allah Azza wa Jal is keeping track and keeping account. Every moment of every waking day, Yet you and I forget that we need him. You and I forget that we rely on him. 
You and I forget that we are not sufficient. Why did he call himself Azza wa Jal As-Samad? Alladhi yasmudu ilayhi al-khala'iq. The one whom all creatures depend upon. <clears throat> Allahu Azza wa Jal let us know that this need of ours, if we recognize it, if we submit to it, if we subscribe to this need, we will be free of everyone else. Allah Azza wa Jal, you read, أَن نَكُونَ أَحْرَارًا بِالتَّسْلِيمِ لَهُ وَالْإِنْقِيَادِ لَهُ وَالطَّاعَةِ لَهُ وَحْدَهِ Allah wants us to be free, emancipated. But this freedom means that we recognize that we only follow him and that we only obey him and that we only fall in line with him. You and I, we get to eating and drinking, sleeping and entertaining ourselves to the extent that we forget. We feel the disconnect. We lack that presence of Allah Azza wa Jalla as we should feel. So then he hits us with calamity. And then he shows us his ibad, his servants who are going to do it right. Ahl Gaza or Philistine. Among many, there are many of Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam today who are downtrodden, oppressed, and abused. Many. And they come in every way, shape, and form, and they're from all over the globe. And he, Azza wa Jal, shows us that it's possible. How about this? Allah, Azza wa Jal, gives to us luxuries that we can afford, that we can enjoy, and then he strips it from others. The ones who he gave luxuries are enslaved by those luxuries. And the one who he took luxuries from, they are free. They are tested day in and day out. And the Allah Azza wa accepts them day in and day out. So who was really in bondage? Think about it. Us or them? Who is really fi hisab? Which of us are actually under siege? Us or them? Allah Azza wa further lets us know in the next ayah, إِنْ يَشَأْ يُذْهِبْكُمْ وَيَأْتِ بِخَلْقٍ جَدِيدٍ وَمَا ذَلِكَ عَلَى اللَّهِ بِعَزِيزٍ I want us to notice, Allah said, يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسِ in the beginning. Nas means people. بَنُوا Adam. He said, if he so wanted, he would get rid of all of you and bring about a new creature. And if he were to do so, that would not be at all difficult for him. Think about it. He didn't say he would bring a new people. He didn't say, He would bring a group of human beings that are different. He said if he wanted, he would get rid of every single one of us and bring a new creature an entirely new creature. And if he were to do so, that would not be difficult. So what are you and I waiting for? Are we waiting for the victory that Allah Azza wa Jal promised those of us who are patient and persevere? Those of us who are free from <laughs> ibad? We're free of people needing of Allah Azza wa Jal. <laughs> Or are we waiting for Allah to get rid of us and bring about a new creature? It's either one. Either you and I are waiting for Allah's victory by maintaining the sirat al-mustaqim and by diligently working on it, even if a little bit every day, 
making that prayer count, making that tasbih count, making that tahleel count, making that penny count, we're either doing that or we're waiting for Allah to get rid of us. There is no third option. Ya Ummata Muhammad. My suggestion is that you and I get with the program and stop being deluded, stop being confused, stop being distracted. Because there's only a few moments left in this world where once those moments finish, we're going to stand in front of our master. And that account that he kept so well, he's going to show it to us and hold us by it. We ask Allah to put us on the right path. We ask Allah to make us of those who love him and love none other except that we love others for the sake of him. We ask Allah to make us of those who fear none but him, who hope in none but him, who rely on none but him. And may he make us his true servants. Amen. Alhamdulillahi wahda, salatu wa salamu ala man la nabiyya ba'da. Brothers and sisters, we have a great opportunity yet again today. Opportunity of yesterday passed and opportunity of tomorrow is not guaranteed. Today we have an opportunity to submit to Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah said, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, aminu billahi wa rasooli, wal kitab alladhi nazzala ala rasooli, wal kitab alladhi anzala min qabl. O people of belief, believe in Allah and His Messenger. And believe in the book that he revealed to his messenger. And believe in the scriptures that came before. Allah Azza wa Jal also said, Ya ayyuhu alladhina amanu dukhulu fi silmi kafatan, wa la tattabi'u khutuwati shaytan, innahu lakum aduhu mubin. Allah said, O people of belief, all of you must enter into Islam submission wholeheartedly, and do not dare follow the footsteps of Satan, because he is a clear, evident enemy for all of you. Today is the opportunity to subscribe to this. The Quran al Azim and the Sunnah al Mutahara min Nabi al Adnan sallallahu alayhi wa sallam al Kareem. If we do that, we succeed. If we don't, he'll remind us with another calamity. And if we fail, he'll remind us with another calamity. And if we fail, He'll remind us with another calamity, but we only get a certain amount. Those reminders do not go on forever. Fir'aun lived on this world being reminded and reminded and reminded and reminded and reminded until when Allah Azza wa Jal put him in the Yam, the river. He said, Amantu annahu la ilaha illa alladhi amanat bihi banu Israel. I now believe that there is no God except the ones that the Israelites believe in. Wa ana min al He said, now I submit, but Allah didn't accept it. So you and I only have a couple strikes. We should get with the program now, subscribe to the book of Allah Azza wa Jal and the Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and subscribe to the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alihi wa Ashabi wa Sallama because with each other, in the unity that is binding on us, that is a must, we will succeed. But if we fail to love and be together and stand for one another, we have failed. We ask Allah to give us success and to alleviate us of all of our pains and suffering. And we ask Allah to accept our martyrs and make them at high ranks in paradise. And to, of course, help us catch up with them even though we lack their good deeds. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to unite us with them. Ameen. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa ala nabi Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Aqeem al-salam. Yes. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah. Ashadu anna Muhammad al-Rasulullah. Hayya ala al-salati. Hayya ala al-salati. Fathamat al-salati. Fathamat al-salati. الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله استو
Muslim tell us with the of Muslim before I straighten your line, so the gap back of the heel and on the line, shoulder to shoulder, please check your phone. Jama'ah, please move toward your left side as much as you can so that brothers can come in from your right. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Malik Yawm Al-Din, Iyaka Na'bud wa Iyaka Nasta'in, Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqim, صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين ألهاكم التكاثر حتى زرتم المقابر كلا سوف تعلمون ثم كلا سوف تعلمون كلا لو تعلمون علم يقين لترون الجحيم ثم لترون عين اليقين ثم لا تسألن يوم إذن عن النعيم الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر 